Good morning, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, <clears throat> I have a message for someone. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I got these messages, messages in the middle of the night. I tried to get up and give them to you all, but I was so tired because I didn't get home until late. Um, I always celebrate Valentine's Day, typically the day before, due to, you know, it being so crowded. So, um, anyway... The first thing I need to let someone know, this may be your confirmation. Uh, let's, let's see, Holy Spirit. Um, yeah, I, yeah, Holy Spirit. So I got up as early as I could to put this out. All right, Holy Spirit. Um, there's a divinity class that's been offered for the month of March. Some of you are really need that class. I'm going to post it on the community board. I was trying to get the black men supported for the uh, first half of February. There is something specific the Holy Spirit has shown me that he's doing in the um, lives of black men and the families of black men. Um, you are seeing a, a situation um, accurately. I keep hearing the word confirmation. Somebody, the first thing I'm just going to tell you, there is a female, whether you want to regard her as a karma or not, that's up to you. But a man has stepped away. He's pulled back. He has left uh, a female alone. This is a female that has caused much havoc in his life. This can be someone that was a mother to him. Um, if, it, if it's his mom, he could be like putting a lot of distance and space in between um, himself and her. If um, anybody else, it could be his wife, his sister. If it was a, if it's a daughter, it's a daughter that could be older, like an adult daughter. He's needing to pull back from something. The Holy Spirit has showed this man of why his life has changed, and also he's he's not supposed to do for her. This woman is mad, she is pissed, and she is faulting you. Nonetheless, this is going to be some breakthrough because the Holy Spirit showed me stagnation. This relationship or this friendship or association was stagnant because of this woman in a man's life. There was a lot that she was doing behind the scenes. Definitely could a lot that's, that's been doing, that she's been doing with spells and whatnot. But you're going to receive breakthrough because this person, um, they definitely have been dealt with. Something about this person had a narcissistic energy. They could be a full-blown narcissist, but she was a narcissistic energy. This person embodies the spirit of Leviathan. Leviathan is the spirit of narcissism, in case you did not know. When you go and deal, yeah, let's, let's, let's just go. All right, let's get What do they need to know? Priorities and fertility. This could, this could have been someone that... Um, this is a man that had a lot of priorities with this woman or he prioritized her. Somebody who also could have, I forgot, someone who could also have had like an autistic child or a child with um Down syndrome or a child that was born um early. Everybody isn't dealing with children, but <clears throat> this person had to, pri he was made to prioritize this woman. She played a lot of, she played on his conscience a lot, his emotions a lot. Oh, thank you. There's an emotional tie that's severed. That's what the Holy Ghost has done. He severed an emotional tie. That's how this woman was able to pull him, manipulate him, control him, keep you and him stagnated. And that's why he's following his heart. Some of you all may hear from this person today. They've been thinking about you obsessively, honey, a lot. The Holy Spirit also showed me about a message about the message on yesterday that I posted. It was done Sunday night. But um these positive changes that's coming, you can trust in it and you can do it. This this makes for some of you all this may be a lot of work. When I say a lot of work, a lot of work with trust, a lot of work with rebuilding, um, a lot of work with opening your heart again because this person wants to open their heart to you and this person wants to give their heart and their life to you. Yep, this is someone who decided to take control of their life. All right, it was something else I was going to say the child forgot. All right, Holy Spirit, what's this message? 
There was a block between you and this person. Something definitely was put on this man's crown chakra to not allow him to hear clearly and receive clearly in the spirit. This is why you receive so much heartache, so much of disappointment, so many lies. This is a woman right here. Um, I hear the word bamboozle. She was very strategic at how she bamboozled here. This is a man and a woman situation specifically. Other than you all, you need to uh, uh, change it, the genders around. What do you need to know? What do you need to know, Holy Spirit? The Nine of Cups. What you're about to get is going to blow your mind. What you're about to um, get is going to also open you up to a level of being fulfilled. Now, this relationship is something that you likely wanted and this person likely wanted. There also could have been a lot of um, energies around it involving other people. With the nine being here, the Holy Spirit has shown me there is something that you and your person had to learn spiritually. Meaning, y'all likely had to um, be awakened. The devil card. This could have been someone that was highly tempted, that had addictions, had other people people's opinions in their head and made them facts for their life whether it be about you or this is someone here that just allow other people to talk into their ear and you know cause them to shift and um, drift all to another direction or just a path of life but here it is this is a person right here that um when they look at you you are wish fulfillment to them you can expect this person to show up in your life you can expect this person to experience to to express some sort of emotion towards you some of you all you may not have heard anything emotionally from this person meaning like how they actually feel but you're going to start to receive that the devil that was in the details that was keeping this person very promiscuous um very non-committal in and out consistent at being inconsistent this is also someone who had to to learn a very valuable lesson about who they sleep with in this energy in this um instance this is a person that picked up a, a spiritual sti when you sleep with someone with the spirit of leviathan that is the um the ruler and the ruler slash king of the children of pride. Your person could have had a very prideful spirit, could have been very arrogant, could, could have been very cocky and sleeping around, running around. You know, temptation was they thing, common things, tempted this person and pulled them away. Common temptation, sex, money, cars, houses, people, um, arrogance. And this is someone here who, who didn't recognize something spiritually. Uh, hold on, y'all, something got in my eye. What in the world is that? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Spirit just said this person couldn't see. They couldn't see you. Not the way they were supposed to. I told you. Now this person right here, this is the King of Cups that's overcoming an addiction, that's overcoming their temptation, that's overcoming their bad habits, that's overcoming their toxic ways. Most importantly, that's overcoming a toxic relationship or associationship that they had with someone. This person was too close to somebody um, emotionally, and that this was a major blockage in their chakra system. He showed me a lot of their chakra, chakras that was blocked. This person right here believed the lie that this person told. Um, this is someone that knows how to lie strategically and cause um, troubles. Again, this is a person right here that played on the conscious of your person. That confused them from their conscious and their subconscious. Because of the way she used her words. A Leviathan spirit is very strategic. And this person comes to mix up words for the whole intentions of the spirit of confusion. And it plays on your psyche. So this this woman had an emotional tie to him that she knew that would call would you know that she knew that emotional tie to him would help her would help her confuse him all the more psychologically. See this um Will of Fortune card. Um the Will of Fortune shows a major shift, a major change in this person's life. This is a karmic cycle that this person had to experience, but now that this person right here has gotten out of karmic cycle, this is someone here that's ready to move things on to a better place because now they couldn't see you the way they were supposed to. The love that was always there or love and true affection is there towards you. 
this is a person that may not be, they still may not be as mature as you are because this person comes towards you as a prince of pentacles. This is someone that has done you extremely bad, extremely wrong, extremely low, but this is a person that had many illusions. They could have, um, again, if this is someone that a person slept with, they took on the spirit of an illusionist and that's why they couldn't see the wrong that it did to you the way they do it. This is going to be an overflow for some of you all. It's going to put you into the state of crying, making you very emotional because this is a person right here. They have the pure conviction of the Holy Ghost on them. And there is something this person must set right in the time of this lifetime with you. For whatever reason, this is coming through now. And this is a person right here that needs to get like clear themselves. And this person right here. They may not have been ready for a commitment because of where their mindset is, but their mind has had a positive shift and they're looking at doing things in a more positive and a bigger aspect of life with you and not against you. All right, Holy Spirit, what else? Yep, the star card. See here, I told you, the star card going to the devil card. This is somebody here that's had and the, the prince of wands. This person right here was healing likely a bad sex addiction. And this is someone who could have had things. Um, I saw a, a, a crown chakra being blocked. I saw a root chakra being blocked. And I saw a solar plexus um, being blocked. Um, what was that other one with yellow? Oh, I can't remember. Let me look at my thing real quick. Let me, let me see The sacral, the sacral. That's why there was so much blockage around the communication. Blue. This person could not speak. This person has spiritual. What's those little ball things that come out the back of people's throat? Tonsil stones. Thank you. This person has a, like a, a huge spiritual tonsil throne, tonsil stone lodged in the back of their throat that kept them from speaking. What they did is the opposite of what they thought in their mind. They did things from a sex base. And this person always wondered to themselves, why do I act like this? Why do I, you know, why do I look like this? Because somebody, somebody they ain't going to look the same when you see them. Now, I'm going to tell you that too. They're not going to look the same. <clears throat> Because something about their life has changed drastically and it has shifted. But this person right here had to heal over this addiction because this addiction was clogging them up terribly, honey. And when that thing, those spiritual um, tonsil stones came out of their mouth, it didn't look like regular tonsil stones. It had, it burst. It turned into, it's like pus was inside of it. So there was a spiritual infection this person had. And you know how like people have infection and it stinks? That's that's what this person was dealing with. So this is someone here that they could be trying to reach out to you also, but you could have this person block. You could have given up on this relationship, given up on this connection because a person this this man had had refused to um, communicate with you, and now this person that they see things from a higher perspective with the will of fortune and with the star card and the four swords, they finally have a chance to see themselves in the light. Not only that you saw them in, but that God saw them in. And this is also a person here. There is something about their life they need to, you know, give you some um, validation on, some sort of validity. Make sure it's, they're telling you all that needs to be told because there's more to this person's life that came behind this sexual addiction, that came behind this uh, woman slash karmic female. So this is a person right here that's forced to, that on he not only did he look at his um his ways, but he looked at how his life has changed. This person's life began to change. Not only when this other person came into their life, but when you came into their life. And this 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 confused this person at who was a bad person, who was a good person, you know, who was the dark sea, who was who was a light sea. And this person right here, they just they just couldn't they this man just couldn't see you. So he stalled, he waited. This is a man that kept doing things promiscuous promiscuous in a promiscuous manner, but this is a person that has decided to do things in the name of love. Some of you all could have been dealing with this for a long time because there was a female devil in the details that caused you to be um, blocked, rejected, 
shun. But during this time, you needed to have this protection me because this person had a real bad infection on them. I'm talking about spiritually. Now, there could be other physical things that's going on here. Again, there is some truth you need to validate, some validity to the story. You need to make sure that you get all of it. But this person right here now knows that a, this certain female was a foe to them. It, by chance, if this was a mother or like a, a sister, someone that they were related to, this was a karmic mother, a karmic sister. What that means, that person had to learn something very specifically between themselves and their family member and bring it into divine alignment. That's why the Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune is the first two cards to come out. Because what you're going to experience is going to be a major shift. It's going to move this relationship. It's going to start healing this relationship. Now, instead of this person being in a um, toxic energy, this person right here has become a little... <clears throat> become a little addictive and obsessive over you. The Prince of Wands, this is someone here that does find you highly attractive, really want to sleep with you. But this is a person right here that looks at you as a high priestess now and not just a mistress. That's why this person wants to communicate. But again, the Seven of Wands that's here now could be some sort of block that you put them on or your guard is just being up. Your standards are completely high and they're thinking, how can I get past this? What do I need to do to let them see that I'm not the same way you know how i've been reevaluating things I'm, I'm i plan to give them my love i plan i give all my love to you this person plans to let you know that look I, I made a lot of mistakes i made a lot of bad choices but i had to get healed spiritually this is a person that got a major spiritual breakthrough and you're going to receive the physical benefits from it some of y'all i'm gonna do a karma reading i don't know if i'm gonna do it today though because it's valentine's day but the holy ghost made me get up and put this out you're going to receive the physical evidence tangible evidence from this person's life taking a shift the ace of pentacles there is a grand offer this person Person has been mandated by the Holy Ghost to give to you, but they had to go through this cycle first and they had to see people for who they are and put things and people in the right perspective. And they had to know how to look at people, not just from a physical standpoint, but from a spiritual standpoint. And they had to understand a major difference between love and lust. This person had a lot of block chakras, they could have been closed off, and if this was someone that you know believed in like multiple partners here especially with the nine of cups this person right here had to be broken they had to be broke out of something to be broke in the spirit this person right here got the holy ghost honey they might not speak in tongue and then some of them they might but they got the holy spirit in them that's leading them directing them and guiding them to open their heart and what they're gonna them opening up their heart is causing this person to take a different move and it's causing them to take charge over a situation and that's when they're going to receive a breakthrough in their um finances because some of them they've been touched financially and they've been touched like physically but this person right here decided to let this person go again if this is a mother someone they're biologically related to this is a person that decided mom i gotta put you in your place sis i gotta put you in your place or like a female friend best friend or a cousin or something like that but this is a man that had to get some their life in order and get their life situated with a particular female or females that caused them to stay in the devil's energy I told you. See, this is the root chakra. This is somebody right here that deals with a lot of like um, survival. And this person right here had to get completely grounded. Their smell can be different. Now, they smell things differently. Their health has been affected. This is also a person who did not have trust issues. So, that they probably didn't trust you. And this could be someone that, you know, to be honest, they could have trusted this other female or females over you. But this person had a major block on their root chakra. Holy Spirit, how you want to close this out? See here, communication coming, honey. I saw that big nasty looking thing that um tonsil stone come out. I was disgusted. And they allowed me to smell it, and it was stink, honey. This person had a lot of infection, and them honey a lot of spiritual infection. That ooh, you don't know what tonsil stones are. Looking things up. Um, mm, perpetual motion. Get ready. 38 breaking down to an 11. I want to I wanna look this up in the book real quick. Look at here. I knew it. This thing opened up right to the same card. That ain't nothing but the Holy Ghost. This is a person right here. 
the change that they are receiving, this is a spiritual change. I told you, this is a person right here that had a lot. My red heart, dress, handbag. Y'all, my bad, excuse me. This is a person right here that had a lot of um spiritual changes they had to make. This alchemist move that they're... Um, that that's being developed there they've been turned into a true magician they're manifesting now they could to be honest with y'all some of you all this person could have what people call the Midas touch they could have a gift of good luck on them because they got some things in order and what this person right here wants to kind of like i hear that song share their life with you this is a person right here that's that's um Damn, we're right in my head and out of my arm, uh, right in, right in and out of my head. Y'all look at that picture of my mom in my bed. Hold on. I forgot what that thing is called with your hand. Anyway, they're making declarations. This movement is a spiritual move that took place in their life. And they went through a portal because this is a portal of a perpetual motion. This thing had to start. It, it had to it had to get cleared up where it was. This was something that lagged in the spirit. And the, this lagging in the spirit caused physical things to lag. Now you're going to experience something different. See here, their third eye, they can see they can see clearly or clearer. Because that block is just, it's not on there. Dang, I forgot that thing I was going to say about my hands. Yep. Regeneration, the rebirth, completely starting over. 34 breaking down to a 7. That's a spiritual truth seeker. Someone that's seeking the truth about love. This is about somebody right here who may who may not have ever been loved properly or nurtured by their mother. They could experience re rejection. This is a person right here that um we uh, we 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 undermine LLP lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. But if you all notice, that's what these people are dealing with spiritually, and that causes their heart chakra to be blocked and them not to be able to recognize what love is. For um, being very dedicated. Now they know what dedication is. Not just being inconsistent. 38 breaking down to an 11. This person went through a whole spiritual portal. Portal 22. The um, master number. This is a person that has divine courage from within. And this could be someone here. In case you didn't know. With the spirit of Leviathan. That's what um, Leviathan does. He, he intimidates. He threatens. He causes fear. He causes you to be confused, but he puts you in a corner that causes you to, to see illusions and they become real in your life. This person had a whole upgrade to take place. Although the death card is not here, that's what this person went through, a major spiritual death. You have Libra, Capricorn, Gemini, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. Peace and blessings. Great day. I hope this helps. Um, I'm going to link that song down below because this person is coming to give you all their love. And they're coming to share their life with you. And it's because of what they have experienced. There could be a master number 11 here, a life path number 7, a life path number 4, a, a life path number 22. This person has mastered something in their life. And finally, they're letting go of superficial things, superficial um, relationships. But they are also letting go of um, things that cause them to have dead weight in the spirit. They are letting go of temptation, letting go of lust, letting go of pride. And this is a person right here that they probably have like a really clear voice um, on today. Or they would have a very clear voice when you hear them because their throat has been touched in a very unique, specific way. Expect this perpetual um, motion. Peace and blessing. Great day. Namaste.